I was shooting a pretty prolific sprite storm the other week over what looks to be a very positive dominant storm system where I think the polarity of the storm was flipped and it was putting out more positive lightning than negative lightning which I've seen before and it usually leads to this kind of situation you see here where there's a lot of smaller sprites kind of over the same area over a short period of time so these are all about 10 20 seconds apart for uh, about a few minutes you can see all combined it's a lot of little sprites over a small part of sky and then I noticed something I've never seen before if you watch there's a meteor I think it's a lurid meteor with a small trail that doesn't really stay very luminous very long and then immediately after the meteor disappears the trail flashes up red If you slow it down, you can see for sure that red flash aligns with where the trail should be. Zooming out, we can definitely see that that red flash of the trail corresponds to a lightning flash below. And the red flash also coincides with the area of sky where all the sprites were triggering earlier. I have heard of something like this before from Thomas Ashcraft who caught a meteor and then a sprite not too long after where the top of one of the heads seemed to bend along a meteor trail so it was really interesting and I also did some reading and found this paper where they discuss the possible formation of column sprites from meteors. One of their theories is that aerosols deposited by small meteors could lead to channels that are conducive for sprite formation so it's just something really cool to see an actual video of this being confirmed. I will link this particular paper down below and look forward to seeing if anybody has any comments on this.